This exhibition is an exhibition that's both a celebration and a little bit of regret and grieving. And you know life is like that. Almost every good thing that happens has something to it that's probably not so good. You have to take what you know about those things and think how you feel about it. So he's not saying, this is what happens and this is how you should feel. He's saying, I want you to think about these two things and see how you feel. So if somebody close to the door will open it for us, we'll head in that way. I saw the hat, the um, graduation hats hanging from the ceiling in like a, I thought it was like an upside down pyramid at first and then when she told us what it was supposed to represent, I was thinking critically about how it was not as easy to represent. You had to think deep about it. I thought it was yeah, pretty cool and creative. It provided the of how they threw the hats up at Vito in the graduation. To me, it meant that success is important. From the bottom is one, then it got bigger than three. I, I imagine that as the more graduates of African American people. So you say you were in 10th grade. And you've been with the same kids in school for the last nine years. And then suddenly one day you went to this school and there was nobody in that school that you knew. How did that feel? Weird. That, that just, it just feels strange. I was looking at it and I was like, what in the world? And then I was like, maybe it means like it all falls down to you. Like to see different pictures of how they they use like their schoolhouse for weddings and like community different stuff and to see some of the schools that we have around here now that they were kind of the same back then. I have a good connection.
connection with it because my grandma graduated from Williston on the last year it was an all black school. I saw inside of the house there were like last names of I think maybe distant relatives of mine because of the last name. Made me think about like not not necessarily my ancestors, but everybody else's um, in this area um, that it maybe have attended those schools and how they felt when all of them were shut down. And I was trying to figure out if it was a school building, then why was there weddings and dances held there? And then the lady told us that the buildings were used not only for school but for other. Things like weddings and funerals and stuff like that. Every chalkboard was like a paragraph, and it was based on one word at the top. One was history. One was Woman, one was black, one was white, and it had red corrections. Like it was like a puzzle, and you had to put all the pieces together to understand the meaning of each word and each image. Show different perspectives of people of how you know what black means, what white means, what rights mean. You know, what civil means, like, just show what they think of, like, blacks and whites. Some of the words on the walls were kind of weird, too. Like, Ooh. one of them, I think it said, beautiful ladies carry knives. It kind of had me thinking, like, when black people couldn't really hang around Caucasian women or it would be a, like a criminal offense. In the middle of the room, it was a desk with a notebook and a piece of paper. And on the paper, it had marks on the top, and for each word, they spelled a word for each letter of the word mark. I thought the desk kind of represented isolation, being isolated, like alone in a room full of people you don't know and it's kind of uncomfortable looking around. Well, in the room, like one of the very first things you've seen was the chair by itself. And like you guys, should, I could relate to that because sometimes I'm usually by myself a lot, and it can get pretty lonely sometimes. But, like, but then with the school feel, and back then it's even more lonely because you probably could be the only black person in your class, and you don't know who hates you or who doesn't. I just like the way that it looked to me, the um. How clever it was, I guess. I was looking mainly at the drums because I like how they put the picture in the drum and then made it light up. And I was thinking how long it took them to come up with that. Well, I think they were very brave to stand up for what they believed in. And seeing the drums and looking at their pictures of marching bands, I just wonder what it was like back then. I like how they put the pictures on the drums. It had lights in it. And those were not poor people, but they were people who were important to the civil rights because they fought for their freedom. 
when you think of the movements and marches, you think of young people and you think of mostly African American people. But there's a lot of people of every race and every age. I thought that room kind of represented rebellion and hope. Rebellion for going against what the laws were saying and trying to have your own voice. And hope was really having your own voice when you weren't really supposed to. Like, it gave people hope and a reason to stand up and fight for what they believe in. Uh, I like that one, especially the lighting up of the um, civil rights leaders that are not known, or, well, known as much as Dr. Martin Luther King and all of them. So I like that one. I was wondering why they put the uh, pictures of the mascots on the wall and then I kind of figured that it was about their sports because of the trophies and then it was mascots. It was kind of weird but cool at the same time and the trophies like he had them facing the wall it really does have an impact because they may be small but their shadow is bigger and what that means to me is like, you know, you may have thought of us as little to nothing, but we can make a big impact and influence. I think that room symbolizes strength and success. I like how they broke the trophies up and put it like combined it and made it into one. Like the one that was in the box by itself on the wall like that. I guess it just showed their um I wouldn't say school spirit, but kind of because they had the different like mascots or whatever on the wall. And the trophies like so like their accomplishments as a school and like as teams. I thought that it were because they were backwards and the shadows stood larger than the trophies. I thought that representing the story behind the trophies bigger than what it may really seem. That one was kind of like the hardest because, like you, you could understand you could understand it, but you had to put it in your own words, and everybody thinks differently. So, yeah, the way I seen it was cut was that what's behind the picture is even bigger than what it actually is. And so that's what I thought of it. I like that one too. Um, the trophies kind of like symbolize how some achievements are bigger than others. Represented the tornadoes that came, and I like how they put the rubber rubble up there to also show more of a give us more image of it. I guess the rubble or whatever kind of symbolized like how they just like destroyed like their communities basically because they just like shut down all those schools. And yes, I know there was a lot of black people that went to those schools and they just shut down. 16, like that's a lot, and then I guess the rubble was symbolized like, like the them destroying like their community. I really thought that room meant <clears throat> what was there before is gone, but the memories will still stand forever. It was pretty sad just to think about how. It all happened so fast and you know they didn't have time to prepare 
and stuff like that. It made me like realize how grateful, well, how blessed we are to you know have this opportunity to have an education and stuff that they didn't get to have. happened at one time, you know that, because there was a time when it was closed for like two years and it almost didn't exist. But one of the things that the community wanted was to please don't get rid of this school because that's one of the one of the um the, the pieces of pride that we have. You know, there's a lot of pride in this community and Virgo is part of that. You feel upset because I know I wouldn't like someone to take something from me that I had for my whole life. And then, like, to see how many people graduated, like, <coughs> it's inspiring to like, graduate. Because when it closed down, people didn't care about the school, and people just, like, trashed it, and it didn't really mean anything to them. But then when it closed down, they repainted and redesigned it, and now people show pride in our school by going to games and being in student government to make school even better, so it really changed a lot since they closed down and reopened. How will you like it if somebody came to your school and just destroyed it? It's like, not, you won't like it. So you have to put yourself in other person's shoes and imagine how they would feel before you do something. It made me think of how privileged I am to have a mixed racial group and of how much stuff we have that we can use, how much technology and how just how much privilege we have here and how some people take advantage and others don't. I don't know much about North Carolina. I especially didn't know that at that time 16 schools were just shut down so suddenly it's like they didn't even exist at all. And I think it's wrong for them to they should have at least given notice that they were going to shut them down, not just do an automatic thing. Mm -hmm. After those schools got tore down, many people, many students were dropping out or just, you know, kind of going off because of pressure and not being able to understand the concept because they didn't have that one at one time. They, a lot of people don't have school pride, but back then they did because it was their first time ever being able to go to school, and that's what they wanted to do. So when they got to do it, they they didn't really take advantage of it. They just like they was happy to have it accomplished, and like everybody came together. I thought it was different. I would never thought of anybody. Well, I haven't ever saw any artists do that before. We use like materials like that to make like an art piece. I guess it made me like appreciate all my privileges. Cause I mean, yes, I know this school is old. <laughs> so I mean, they kept this school open, like they closed it down, but then they opened it back to us. So I, I appreciate like our school having all those privileges and like our community being together and stuff like that. It really just caused a bigger influence on me to really have pride in the school and how we should really take care of it and stand up for anything that's really right to protect our community and all that's in it. I mean, I'm like, more grateful for what I have because I don't have to have all of these things. I'm just grateful, you know. This, this school, it may not have been open back up if it wasn't for us. So, it, yeah, it's really great. I take pride in actually saying I go to Virgo. 